Oh, well, it's so nice to have you back here at the channel. I am Klaus and in today's video we are going to look at how to match up two different shots from two different cameras and make them look like it was shot with the same camera. So without further ado, let's get the color grading hat on and let's start color grading in DaVinci Resolve 15. Let's go now. Okay, and here we have two shots of Danish poet Mass Mugin. The first one here is from the production 4K camera and uh, as you see here, and the second one is from the Ursa Mini Pro. And um, let's try to match up these two clips together. So let's get going with that. Okay, let's just uh, jump into the color page here. So I'll choose to, um, first I'll give the look to the this clip from the production camera because it's the one I can push the least. So first up, we'll just lift up a bit here with the with the lift. I'll just give it a little bit with the gain. And let's go to the contrast. I'll just give a bit of contrast, use the pivot a bit, give it a bit of saturation, something like that. And let's see, let's go to mess around with the color boost. I think we'll give it a bit of color boost, not too much. And then let's move the temperature a little to the minus side, something like that. Well, that looks pretty good, I think. Okay, so let's uh, try to match up these two clips manually. Um, so let's see. So let's first off, I want to go up here to this icon and I'll click that and I'll change from version to selected clips. And then I'll just select both clips. And here we have both clips. So now, depending on which I want to work on, I'll click on the one I want to work on and I want to work on the one from the Ursa. So let's just zoom in a bit here and um, Let's see if we can match up the colors. So let's just uh, take a look here. If we look over here, actually these are the, in the scopes here or in the parades, you can see that if I go with the gain, it will move up and I'll do the same with the lift. It will move up and down. And if I do the same with the midtones, it'll be the same. So so the parade will show you your, your levels on the left or on the right image. So just keep in mind of that. Okay. So that looks pretty even, at least in that. So first off, let's just go to the contrast and I'll just mess around with the contrast a bit, give it a bit of pivot as well, something like that. And then I will give it a bit of saturation and Okay, and here we go, and I'll give it a bit of color boost. I am sure that is too much. We'll look about that, and then I'll do something with the tint as well. So the the basic idea here is, of course, to match the colors, and um, and especially the grass. I want to match those colors pretty well. But also, we have some issues with the skin tones, and since I didn't do qualifiers or anything on this, you can do that, of course but I just want to show you how to match it up. So I'll go here to the color wheels on the second dot and I'll take out some of the green of this shot because I know that there is a lot of green when you shoot with those cameras. Uh, and here we have a little more blue in the shadows, I think, or in the, in the gain. So let's take a bit of the blue out and we'll take a little bit of red out as well. And a little bit of the green. I am not quite there yet, but let's go back to the color wheels here. And um, I think we'll take the lift down a bit. And the gain, I'll leave a little give it a little game again go to the gamma a bit as well 
And now it doesn't match yet. So I'll just in the gamma push it towards a little warmer colors. And let's give it a bit boost there. Well, almost, but not not totally yet. So I'll go down to the temperature again on the Ursa clip, as you see, and then I'll just dial that in a bit. Something like that. And then on the tint. And now that is going to be way too much. So if, by the way, if you get lost doing this, you can easily reset your tint level by double clicking on tint and then you, it's on zero and you can start all over again. So I think crazy uh, too much. Something like this I feel like which is, is better. But we are also going to need to take the color boost down a bit I think. Yeah, a little better. Let's go there and let's take the saturation uh, up a tad. Something like that. So let's uh, take off the grade and uh, see how it looks now. Not too shabby. Okay, so let's have a look here at uh, how it actually look when you cut together or cut in between them. That looks pretty neat. Well, anyway, this was once again just a pretty quick video on how to do shot matching in DaVinci Resolve. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on the channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.